Hey, yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and I got a question for you. Are you intentional? These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of rule. Are you intentional? What is the importance of living your life with intention? Are you living your life with intention? Most of us, I believe, are running around life aimlessly as grown adults with no intention. What is intention? Intention is planning. It's having a plan. You have to have a plan to get the results you want in life. Okay? The positive results you want in life. You have to have a plan and you have to be intentional with how you move. Whether or not you are intentional about your movements and your thoughts and your actions will determine your outcomes in life. We have too many choices. We have too many options today. Women have too many options. Men have a lot of options too, but he has to be a certain type of man. If you're just, if you're a pretty, if you're a pretty girl or pretty woman, you have, you have unlimited options because you, you, have too, you have too many choices. You got the internet, you got your phone, you just, you don't have to focus on being, having an intention on bonding with someone because you have so many options of swiping left and right. You see what I'm saying? You got too many ways to get attention and too many options to entertain. It's very difficult to focus and have an intention with one person right you're always looking for another option see with all these options right and being unintentional what's happening is that men and women practicing being unintentional catches up with them as at different times in life you see Women think that they have forever to be unintentional and just, you know, live day by day, like, you know, swipe left, swipe right. Like, what's on the agenda, on the menu for me today, right? No plan. And they do that long enough and they normalize that. They normalize that throughout their 20s, right? And then when they hit the 30s and they've, live the life with no intention of having a serious relationship, right? Which is what most of them want. Um, and having a family. And they try to they try to figure out in their 30s, they, they want to settle down and say, well, you know, now I want to have a family. I need a, I need a man, a husband, and, and I want to have some children. By that time, most of the time it's too late because now you've wasted your prime years on being unintentional right you were focused on your job your career your school having sex with multiple men having sex with women whatever you were doing wasn't focused on no family now you're emotionally distraught you have too many heartbreaks from various relationships right you got all this baggage you might have one or two children from failed relationships that weren't really serious and that were mistakes in the first place you weren't intentional on you know getting married before you carry and now your options have run out you don't have all those options you had before and that starts to happen for women around 
you know, in their, in their 30s. 30s and up. Now, with men, that happens earlier in life. Men have less options earlier in life because those are not their prime years. Their prime years are later in life. So men have more time to be unintentional and, 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 and play around with life. Okay? As long as they're not making babies. So also men don't really reach their financial stride in life until, until their 30s late 30s 40s so those are their prime years a woman's prime years are her youthful years and her baby making years when women get over you know in their late 30s it's harder for them to get pregnant it's, 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 it's actually a more a, real, a risk for their body they have a clock ticking men don't have that type of clock so women have to be more intentional with, with, the, with the planning of their life, direction of their life. Now, men in their 30s and 40s and 50s and up, that's when their intentions are settling down and having a family because now they're making enough money to sustain a family. They're wiser with women and they've got all of the uh, sowing of the royal oats out of them. You see what I'm saying? They're not as wild and sexually reckless as they were when they were in their 20s. So that's the dynamic. We have to understand the importance of being intentional. People back in the days, they were more intentional than us. Okay? Our grandparents were more intentional than we, we are today. And that's why they got married very young, 17, 18 years old, and had started having a family, started building a family soon after. They were intentional about the results and the outcomes they wanted in their life. See, our grandparents were able to learn how to bond with someone for many years, but they stayed married 40 years, 50 years, because they didn't have all these options. You see what I'm saying? They didn't have an attention machine in their pocket. How are you gonna bond with somebody, one person, even if you really like them, when every five seconds, less than that, every two seconds, you can swipe left and right, and there's a potential, another potential option that you can entertain, right? There's too many options. It's like going to the, to the supermarket and it's like a, a thousand cereals and you came to get one cereal. It's distraction. When I was growing up, there was maybe honestly 10 cereal boxes, 10, 10 cereals on the, on, the, on the shelf. I'm telling you, it's easier to make a decision. Right now, what we have is a bunch of people running around with no intention, no plan in life. And they're wondering why they're getting these bad results. You're getting negative results because you have bad intentions. If you don't have, if you don't have in good intentions and you don't have intentions at all, by default, you have bad intentions. Understand that because you have no plan. That means you'll fall for anything because you don't stand for anything. So be wary of people who don't have intention, okay? If, if you want to have a baby with someone, right? Are you intending on just having a baby? Are you intending on making a family with this person? Those are two different things, you see? Because if you just want to have a baby with someone, what you're doing is you're setting, your, you're setting the situation up for you to be a single mother. Because you don't have any intention of cooperating with this man. We have to get real. We have to get serious. Are you a serious person? Most of us are running around here. We're not, the average adult in America is not serious. 
You're not serious. And you're not to be taken seriously by a serious person. You're for play play. Play time. Fun time. You're a fun chick. You're a fun dude. You ain't somebody to be taken seriously about no relationship. Come on. We gotta do better. We gotta, we gotta. Listen, here's the thing. If you don't wanna do better, you don't have to. Just stay away from serious men like me. Stay away from me. I have no place in my life for people who have no intention in their life. I, I have no intention to <laughs> waste my energy and resources on taking you on dates. I don't date. I have intimate meetings. Okay? Because I'm not going to be offering up my time and resources, spending money on different women to entertain them with my conversation, my intellect, my experience, you know, everything I bring to the table, my positive attributes. When they got six, seven other dudes that do the same thing for them, they have no intention on actually picking any of these dudes. They just have them free, free, free dinners and lunches and brunches, and they're saving their money for what they want to do with it. That like, there's, there's no intention there. See, I have intentions. I know what I want out of a woman and out of a relationship. So I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in being unintentional. And and uh, you know, you hear them say it all the time. Well, let's just see what happens. Or, you know, I'm going to just sit back and wait for, you know, the, the right guy to come or the perfect girl. I'm going to manifest that. What are your intentions of even manifesting that? What are your intentions? How can you manifest the mate you want in life? by sitting back and waiting for the perfect mate to come to you. How does that even work out in your mind? Because while you're doing that, being unintentional and having no plan to do that, the, the people who are intentional, the men and women who are intentional have a plan and they understand they have to be competitive because life is about competition. Everyone in this world is competing with other people to do something, to get, the, to get something they want in life. Because there's too many people trying to do the same thing in life. You have to compete. Okay? And uh, those who understand that and, and do what it takes to win, they're the ones that are successful in the results they want. This is Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur. And I intend on being intentional and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur 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 i'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of